Hello everyone, today we're going to be making a Mexican inspired apartment in The Sims 4. This is number 17 called Pepper House, it's a fairly small apartment. The floor plan here will be very simple. We are starting in the kitchen and we are using almost only Jungle Adventure here. I really love these appliances and also the this watch on the counters is really nice as well as in this style and those shelves are actually some I really like to clutter so I added these pretty uh, bar stools from get together they are kind of industrial and I think that swatch goes very well with the counters and here I am adding lots of clutter I cut out some of that process because it was very long and I am using some stuff from Depok, such as this picture from Laundry Day and that other tiny uh, metal thing is from the Eco Lifestyle Debug. It's used for candle making and I thought about using these candles here but here they are only going to be used for to block off the, the slots but I do use them elsewhere in the build. Here I have added some other stuff such as the sugar and flour little uh, bags and other stuff that you get from juice fishing I think as well as other normal kitchen clutter such as the bread box. I also add this box of, of fish juice I think it's called and a coffee maker. I also really love that we have these tiny sugar skulls in the in the sims and I thought of adding them here because it's something that I would do in my in my own kitchen actually. These are some of my favorites because they look more traditional. There, there's some that I don't really love how they look, they feel a bit strange. So this is the dining room, it has some decorations from laundry day and those chairs are actually from the base game and they felt pretty appropriate for this place. This will be the entryway. It has this mirror and the side table. The table feels very very familiar to me, so I thought about using it there. And this shelf that is for sugar skulls and that only sugar skulls snap to, uh, I used to add some other clutter such as some change, some, some napkins and the candles that I mentioned and these jar and a box. I felt very inspired to work on a Mexican build because um, September has started and that's the month when we celebrate our independence. So I thought it would be very cool to have some videos of Mexican spaces this month. Uh, so I am predictably using lots of jungle adventure, even though some of it doesn't feel super accurate to me, at least not for Mexico, maybe for some other Latin American countries. But it does have lots of these um, collectibles that can that add to the idea. And uh, so I added some to this laundry day shelf. I also blocked off these slots with some with some metal because otherwise my sims just put dirty plates on it all the time and it is very annoying to remove them. I also added those hanging plants from Nifty Knitting and I combined a jar with some sunflowers. So for the living room I struggled a bit because I didn't know which couches felt too Mexican to me. The Jungle Adventure ones weren't the vibe that I was going for and I, I am not super happy with, with the couches that I ended up choosing but I think they are alright. I did change out the, the fireplace for this one from Get Together because it has this tile, this blue tile that, that I liked and the color of it matches the walls nicely. I also really liked adding the lights from the Desert Locks kit. That one does feel very much like something that I would see here. And a bike because I feel that it would fill up the space nicely without it being like just a uh, decoration. So I added this jungle adventure stuff to the hutch as well as another j jar of candy. 
and it also has a nice size and for a wall decoration here I decided to go with these wooden carvings they are from get together and they aren't exactly the style that I wanted this apartment to have but I thought it didn't look out of place now we're in the bedroom and I initially thought that this room was big enough for what I wanted but um, I decided that I preferred to have the entrance to the bathroom be inside the room and so I changed the the walls a little and I also had to move the jungle adventure hutch to the living room and I decided that I wanted to create a little space for plants near the entrance I thought that was an interesting use of the space, not very functional but I think it is pretty and I really liked these windows from jungle adventure that have no glass and also since the, wall, the walls are so high I thought it was fine and so I added a big mirror and also a chair in the bedroom. The rug I added is from Cats and Dogs and my parents actually uh, had one like that. Theirs was blue but I, it felt familiar to me. And I decided that I wanted to have some paintings here on the wall and some portraits by the, by the door. They are probably um, family members or old family pictures. I also repainted the walls in this two-toned color scheme that you normally see uh, on exteriors and not on interiors, but I wanted it to have some more color and also the texture is slightly different. And I also decided that I wanted different tile for the bedroom and the bathroom. And I decided to use the Jungle Adventure sink with a base game toilet and a Nico lifestyle bathtub because the blue glass that it has matches the one on the sink perfectly and since the bathroom was sort of large I decided that I wanted to have the shower next to the to the bathtub but without it being like a big a big box and I also added this medicine cabinet from Parenthood that has this distressed swatch that matches the glass quite well. So I decided that I wanted to have some shelving underneath the paintings as if they were leaning against the wall instead of hanging them from it. And I also added some more decorations to the wall and these plants and a rug by the entrance. I think at this point I thought that the build was finished but later I decided to get the Blooming Rooms kit and I thought that it, that it would be a great addition to this. So I added these uh, sort of vine curtains and I, I layered these Parenthood curtains that are see-through. And I also cluttered up the dresser a little bit more. And uh, I think that from now I just add more, more plants everywhere mainly those that had mm, clay pots because that felt correct and I combined plants with uh, some more faces. I think this apartment looks more like a hotel or a commercial venue than it does a house. Well the ones I have seen aren't exactly in this style but I still like it and if you would like to have it in your game, you can download it from the gallery. You can find me as Veranio. And thank you so much for watching. I will see you next time.